So this is Nenad. He was interested in what his emotions shown in his face will sound like if he was an ape, a dog, or or any other or any other animal. So here's like, please go ahead, do it. If it's neutral, it will be crickets. <laughs> and this is basically how it works. So, uh, for example, for example, the state of the motion at the science cafe yesterday around 5 p.m. was uh, joy. And most of the participants that we ask, uh, when we ask them how's the hack going, when we ask them um, were you late today, we heard uh, half of them were happy and the other half were there were crickets, right? So uh, that means that maybe some of them were yeah, not in time. So basically, what was our approach? Um, we're interested in the uh, affective sciences in humans and animals. And we were wondering how it works, and basically how terminology that we use, such as joy or anger, is extrapolated from academic disciplines into the natural world. So if dogs or cats, do they fear anger, or do they, like, uh, do they, do they have anger, do they feel like fear or joy? That's something that we can leave it to the academics to discuss. But our approach to it was an interdisciplinary and interactive um, prototype that could allow us to translate human uh, faces and their emotions into the sounds of animals, the equivalent emotion in an animal. How do we do it? Our proof of concept was very basic. Emotions in humans have previously been described and we wanted to go through the translation through coding. We wanted to hack emotion recognition software and potentially obtain animal sounds from that. How did that work? We created our team, we got the most representative um, of, each of, the, of each of the teams, we got a proof of concept, translating image emotions into sounds, we got the programming team that was hacking basically the software, and we got a research sound team that was looking into uh, sounds of animals with uh, relevant, relevant data. So, to go into details, maybe Francis can tell us how the programming team did it. So we were, at the beginning we were looking for some algorithm for some library to work with face recognition. So we decided to take Affectivo, we were like a team of three people and we wanted to find something that is easy to use but it's written in Objective-C and as you have seen it works pretty well. Um, we have like different processes running on so there is some kind of live video processing which is then kind of like like reading all of the images and um, recognizing the faces and evaluation, evaluating the emotions. That's what we found so far. But now, what we did... <laughs> We're done, huh? We're done. Time. <laughs> like, okay, it's the last line. What we did is, like, select sounds that suit the emotion and um, enhancing hand force of code and allowing it to have some different kind of interpretation. So please join us if you want to see what you will sound like when you're happy and if you're an animal. So they will set up the demo in the back yes, and you will see absolutely. like the more of the description. You're welcome to join us. How they did it. Thank you.